This is the Army Today. U.S. forces in Korea officially started their move south away from the DMZ. Airman Jamie Sikora was at the event to find out what it will take to see the move fulfilled. With the push of a button, the USFK commander and the ROC Minister of Defense broke ground to start consolidation of U.S. military forces that are currently spread around the country. A process that will turn this area into a main operating base in the next five years. The Korea-U.S. alliance is now moving forward in a more solid and future-oriented direction. Building on mutual respect and close consultations, the two sides have hammered out solutions one by one on a range of long pending issues, including the redeployment of U.S. forces in Korea, relocation of Yongsan garrison, and transfer of wartime operational control. Some issues still have to be worked out. While Republic of Korea officials pursue financial support from their National Assembly, USFK is seeking congressional approval for the bill to lease housing approach. In the agreements in 2004, the U.S. agreed to provide that family housing and the Republic of Korea agreed to do almost everything else, billions of dollars worth of expenses. The majority of U.S. family housing that will be needed to house the families that are currently in Yongsan Garrison in Seoul who have to have a place to live when they come down here. The relocation of the Joint Forces headquarters in Korea from Seoul to Pyeongtaek is largely a strategic move. The economic growth that follows the move to this community is expected to further strengthen the relationship between the Republic of Korea and the United States. Reporting from Pyeongtaek and the future site of the main USFK operating base in Korea, I'm Airman Jamie Sikora. That's the Army Today from the Soldiers Media Center, Washington.